All right, so I'm here. I don't have my key fob on me, my key card, the phone, none of that stuff. The car is locked, as you can see. And as I walk up to it and point my face at it, face ID for your Tesla. Let's go. So there are several different ways that you can access your Tesla. You have a key fob like this, a traditional one, or the Tesla traditional one. You have a, a key card as kind of a backup, and you have your phone, or for the Model 3 anyways, that acts as a Bluetooth phone key. But all of these to me seemed a little dated, a little you know unnecessary. And in sticking with Tesla's first principle thinking, their way of kind of breaking problems down to the most basic form, I just had this thought of why don't they just enable Face ID? They already have cameras all around it and facial recognition technology is pretty, pretty common these days. So could we actually do this? And it turns out one of my good friends, Adam Getchy, is the kind of world expert at this. He has one of the most popular libraries for Python, which is a programming language to help you enable or you know, execute facial recognition within your software, within your programs. So I hit him up and he helped me with this. And it was really just a few lines of code and I'm not a great coder, uh, but I can kind of hack things together. That's maybe my, my, my strong suit. And so I took his code and after just a little bit of setup, I was able to get it going with a regular webcam. And it works pretty well. And you can see here that what I've actually done is enable it to recognize me in my face, as you can see by the little box around it, versus someone that is not me and is not my face. If I get it closer, you can see that. And so this is running in real time and just constantly processing. So the next part was when you recognized me, or in this case, you, if you had this enabled in your car, to then send the unlock code to the vehicle. And with Tesla, there is a public API. An API is kind of like a, an interface. It's a way for programs to talk to each other. And since I'm a part of Tesla, the company that is like your Fitbit for your Tesla, we have these controls built in. So you can actually unlock your car from Tesla as well. Just uses the exact same interface that the Tesla app uses. So I contacted those developers and said, hey, how could we do this? How hard is this? And it turns out it's really simple. So I was able to basically combine both of these technologies, the facial recognition one and the unlock API that Tesla uses to make this possible. So here's how I set it up in the car to work as you saw earlier. So it's a really simple setup. I have my laptop sitting here running that facial recognition software connected to a webcam on the other side of the car pointed out to where when I stick my face at it, it would do that recognition and then it would make the call to unlock the car using the public API. This is about 135 lines of code that does real-time face, facial recognition. It's pretty crazy how simple these things can be these days. All right, so I'm here. I don't have my key fob on me, my key card, the phone, none of that stuff. The car is locked, as you can see. And as I walk up to it and point my face at it, face ID for your Tesla. Now, Tesla could do this. It really wouldn't be that difficult for the code that I wrote to be integrated into their system. And they already have a system like this called Tesla Sentry Mode, which is a security mode that is running all eight cameras and sensors 24 seven or while it's enabled. And in case someone approaches your car, it starts recording everything and it tries to capture them. Now, there are some challenges here. First off, processing all of those eight and then and unlocking the car would really drain the battery. So instead of maybe one or two miles of drain or maybe five miles even of drain overnight, you'd be looking at losing one to two miles per hour. So they'd have to optimize this way beyond what it currently is capable of doing. A second challenge that they would have with trying to implement what I did here into their system is that a lot of these cameras aren't pointed in a place that is obviously going to catch your the, the driver's face. So they would have to use a different type of recognition. Instead of facial recognition, they would have to use something called a gait. And all that really is is like recognizing your body motion and who you are based on how you walk and move through space 
which sounds a little crazy, but Google already does this in Google Photos where they can like recognize who you are without seeing your face. It's kind of crazy, but one problem with that, again, is that it's, it's less secure. So as you saw me hold up a photo and it, and it did that, it recognized like that was a face. This technology I demoed here is just that, it's a demo. To actually catch kind of liveliness indicators like your iPhone might do with the depth sensor would probably take some additional configurations in the car or maybe you know so some other more advanced systems in order to actually securely detect that it's you when you approach your vehicle. So there's always more to the story as these technology things tend to show us. You know, it seems like a simple, hey, why can't you just do that? Or why don't they just? And then there's a lot more and there's good reason. So uh, I'm curious what you guys think. Would this be something you would be interested in Tesla implementing? Uh, you know, I think, again, the demo I showed was pretty straightforward. It only took me an afternoon to, to pull together. But of course, implementing it would be a lot more thought and code that goes into it. So. Let me know, let Tesla know if you think this is something that they should do. And maybe that'll be a good sign that in the future, we won't have to have any of these extra things in our pockets when we approach our cars. So thanks for watching. And don't forget, when you free the data, your mind will follow. I'll see you guys back in the next one. Thanks for watching the video. Do you like data? Maybe you wanna make a career out of it? Check out my free course at ftdacademy.com and kickstart your data professional career today.